Assalamu alaikum to all of you and welcome to in other lecture in this lecture we are going to discuss the pilgrims progress summary this is a summary of the part 1 dear students in the previous lectures we have also discussed the life and work of the john bunyan and we have also shared the light and the characters of the pilgrims progress we have discussed in the detail the important character characters of this very story so please before going to see the summary of the story you must these lectures they are available on the youtube channel and you can access these lectures now we have to analyze the story of the pilgrims progress uh, so actually the journey of the christian who is the protagonist and the most important character entire story revealed around him his journey start from the city of destruction to the celestial city so in between that from the city of destruction to the celestial city what kind of the problem he face what kind of the adventure he see and what kind of the hidden he face and whatever he experience on his journey these all things are highlighted in this story what's happen actually the narrator sees a dream in this dream he actually see a person whose name is christian he is the disturb in the celestial city or oh sorry in the city of the destruction he is in the problems he is in the sufferings and he face so many challenges and problem he is into the deep sorrows so in the very next morning when he uh, wake up from his dream then he told this same dream to his community what he told us that there is a person whose name is christian who lives in the city of destruction on that time there a character is appear evangelist who told him that you are in the problems you are in the suffering now you have to get the rid of from your old problems and your suffering you can only get the salvation of the god if you traverse to the celestial city and if you have to leave the city of destruction as he act uh, and as he decide his plan according to the advice of the evangelist first of all he share these things with Uh, his family, but family make the fun of his uh, plans, and that you are the coward. You are going to escape these hardships. Then he decide the same plan plan with his friends, pliable and obstinate. They say that they will accompany him. But as he leave the city of destruction, the his best friend is neighborhood obstinate didn't join him, but the pliable join him. But as he face the first problem in his journey, that time the pliable also leave him. So actually, the the journey of the pilgrims start from the city of destruction to the celestial. In between that, what kind of the adventure he face and what kind of the problem he see, these all all things are highlighted. Then he leave the city of destruction. the first very obstacle that he face on in his journey is a slew of despond sometime the slew of despond we also use for the deep depression is look like a swamp or berg the first obstacle in christians course pilgrims are apt to get mired down here by their doubts and fear why he fallen down in the slew of despond because he has the doubts and the fear because he is going on an unknown journey and he is never know the his final destination even he is unaware about the path and the uh, map of the road and he even didn't do, do, do think about that where is actually the celestial city so the writer want to show here that when ever you on the holy journey when you are on the holy path you have to leave away you have to side away your all doubts and fear you have only the firm faith and firm determination then uh, when he fallen down in the slew of despond he is into the very uh, difficult condition in the slew of despond he is trying trying but he is not able to escape the hardship uh, of the slew of despond and that time the uh, character appear that's the help 
people who help him in this course and rescue him from the slew of despair then he continue his journey then he reach into the village of the morality in the village of morality he meets a worldly wise man who is actually a confirmed people of the ordinary people and the confirmed people of the city of destruction who said that you have to abandon this journey you have he said that you have to leave this journey you have to just abandon this plan because you are going to an unknown journey you never know that what will be the ultimate result of this journey in the end you will get only hunger and pain and death so you should give up this plan but at that time again the evangelist appeared in this story and who told him that you will face and you will meet such kind of the people and you will see such kind of the adventure but you have only the firm determination and hopefully you will get the salvation then uh, he just turn a deaf ear to the worldly wise man and continue his journey then he entered into the wicked gate on his journey in the wicked gate christian read the sign on the gate knock it and shall be opened at unto you there is a sign there is a tag line on the gate that if you knock it till the door open then he do it and then gate keeper a grave person his name is goodwill who comes and asks what the christian wants and ask him that why he came here and what uh, what he want from him then the christian told him about his all journey and about his all plan he actually what want to do and he is led through the gate which opens on the holy way a straight and narrow path leading toward the celestial city then the wicked uh, uh, in the wicked gate the good will guide him about his journey and he said that definitely you will get the salvation but you have to follow this narrow and a straight path in the narrow and straight path you will see the different adventures and the different places and you have to only keep only your firm faith then he leave the wicked gate and then he reach into the interpreter's house in the interpreter's house on goodwill's advice he has to stay because goodwill said that in this path you will see the interpreter's house he will provide the more detail about the celestial city and he will you guide he will guide you about your path and about your journey so on the advice of the goodwill goodwill the christian stays in the interpreter's house and the interpreter's character is symbolizing the holy spirit uh, Uh, the divine uh, as a spirit who guide the uh, pilgrims on their journey interpreter uh, interpreter show is guess number of excellent things and uh, what actually interpreter show me show first of all the four different character who are from the city of destruction and the businessmen these are artisan he said that these people are into the cage of the innocence the illusion in the sense they are all they are captured they are enchained by their sinful sins their corruption their soul is corrupt so these people are into the suffering and problem if you spend such kind of life hopefully you will never get the god salvation then he show the different things and uh, actually in the hand of the interpreter is the bible and the gold head gold cap a dusty parlor which is like the human heart before is clean with gospel and he also show a parlor actually uh, this is the parlor look like a human heart but when it touch to the gospel then it become clean and very clear uh, after knowing these all details and getting all the you, you know that uh ways and the past and then all the things which are related to the celestial city then knowing all each and everything about the celestial city he keep continue his journey then he leave the interpreter house then he see in the near uh, interpreter house he see the cross actually cross is the very symbol of the christian we are the jesus christ word crucify so near the interpreter's house he see the cross beyond and the christian comes to the cross which is stand on higher ground beside the holy way actually when he leave the interpreter's house on the holy way uh, and he see the cross so he reach there below it in the foot of the gentle slope 
is an open spillator. When kissing his straw by the crowd, the burden on his back suddenly slipped from his shoulder and rolled down the slope. Actually, when you see the character of the Christian on his back, you will see the heavy burden of that sense. When he leaves the interpreter's house after knowing all the detail, he reaches to the, uh, the cross. In the class, he sees the footstep of the Jesus Christ. As he follows the footstep of the Jesus Christ, suddenly whatever the burden on his back rolled down from the cross. So now this is the chances and this is incident adventure show here that now he is about to get the salvation and the grace of the divine power and then in the the cross as his burden is fallen down from his bag three shining angels appear they tell him all his sins are now forgiven give him the bright new raiment replace his old ragged clothes and hand him a parchment a roll with steel upon it for his edification and for his education and for his instruction Christian is to read the role as he goes along and when he reaches the purely gates he is present to his coordinators as sort of passport as heaven actually as his fair sins are given that time three angels appear they change his clothes and give him a book uh, as a paper is a rule of paper on which all the details were written about the solidarity city and this uh, documents this role look like a passport of the heaven so now from this incident you can get that now god want to accept him in his company as he leave the cross then he reach into the difficulty hill in the difficulty hill the holy way beyond the cross is fenced with the high wall and either side as he leave the uh, the cross he now enter into the difficult hill and the difficulty is the uh, way beyond the cross is fenced with a high wall either side. Christian is passing along two main formalists, hypocrisy, climb over the wall and drop, drop down beside him. As he leaves the cross, now he climb over a mountain. This is the peak of the mountain and that, um, and that mountain and the difficulty hill he meets to another important character of the story that was the formalist and the hypocrisy. As from the characters are very clear that the formalist, those people who believe the uh, usual power that's followed by many people and the hypocrisy that he has a doubt over. So he claim over with these two characters and then he move on. In this difficulty here, where the three paths join and they must make a choice. So when he reach on the top of the difficulty hill, he see the diff three different paths. One path goes straight ahead of the steep slope of the and the one path very straight and very clear throughout this hill. And other goes around the base of the hill and, and to the right and third around the hill to the left. And then Christian argues that the right path is the one leading the straight ahead up difficult hill. Not looking to the prospect of much exertion, formalist and hypocrisy decided to take the easier way on the level path going around the hill. Both get lost and perish. Actually, when he climbed over this difficult hill, he sees the three, three different paths. Two are very easy and very clear and very straight one is very difficult path in his executive way so on the interpreter's advice he has to take the difficult path because if he faces difficulties and if he faces these challenges then he will get the salvation but to other philo pilgrims the formalist and hypocrisy they took the easy path and very straight path and they, they perish away and they are now they dead in this story then he reached into the place beautiful as he leave the difficulty is uh, is look like a narrow path leads off to the holy way to the lodge in the front of the place beautiful and the place beautiful is starting with the path christian sees two lions stops and turns around as if to retreat when he entered into the place beautiful to uh, uh, lions welcome him they protect him they are around him in the place beautiful he see the four virgins who come out to lodge 
all of them grave and beautiful themselves discretion prudence piety and the charity now these four virgins they were the damsel they welcome him they accompany him satisfied with the questions answer to their question whatever he has confusion whatever he has question related to the celestial city salvation these all question were satisfied by these damsels and they invite him in uh, and introduce him to the rest of the family serve him supper and sign him to beautiful bedroom peace for the night so means the place of the beautiful is a place in which he knows each and everything which is related to the celestial city he, he took their rest and then he took the supper and these four virgins serve him in the place beautiful means uh, the right to show that after difficulties and problem you will get the reward of these thing and you will get the fruit so now after the difficulty hills as he climb over as he pass from this difficulty hill he enter into the place beautiful so actually place beautiful the reward of the his challenges then retreats of the place the library filled with the ancient documents then these four virgins show him the library in the library there is the different books the different gospel the, the different holy script scripture they show him they taught him that these are the thing these are the important things for the human civilization salvation for the god's grace and in the end when he leave the house uh, beautiful house they give him the shields helmets and the breast plates that now you will face so many problems in your journey you have to dare it and you have to face now after taking the shield swords and the breast plates he leave the place beautiful and continue his journey again then he turned to the valley of humiliation in the valley of humiliation he has a fight with the apollyon he about uh, apollyon is a monster who is the uh, uh, leader of the valley of humiliation who rule actually over the valley of humiliation and he, a hideous monster with a skull like a fish wings like a dragon mouth like a lion and feet like a bear flames and smoke bleach out of the hole in his belly kisten after painful struggle wounds the fine with his sword and drives him off he has a fight with apollyon in the end he kill him and defeat him the apollyon and then he enter into the valley of the shadow of the death this is the wilderness a land of desert and pits inhabited only by yelling hob buildings and other dreadful creatures this is the very barren and wilderness place in which he entered the path here is very narrow edge on one side by a deep water filled ditch in which many have drowned on the other side by a treacherous bog so this is a very difficult and very painful and very uh, challenging journey for him when he entered to the valley of shadow of death after uh, drives of the apollyon in this valley of shadow of death he meet an other person who is the faithful and he also going on to the uh, uh, holy journey he also decided to move, move for the celestial city and he is the friend of the christian friend of christian who is live uh, who also live in the city of destruction now their journey is again continue they both now faithful and the christian enter into the vanity fair in the vanity fair the town holds a year around fair at which all kinds of things are bought and sold house lands trees titles player bodies souls silver gold pearl precious stones and what not this is the ordinary and this is the city which showed the ordinary world christian and faithful infuriate the merchandise by turning up their nose at the wares offered them saying that they would buy nothing but the truth why they when these people entered into the vanity fair these people try to sell him the things but he refused christian and faithful they both refused to buy said that you are the corrupt people you are the liars you are the corrupt so we will never be if you have truth we can buy from you but you have no you are the corrupt people then their presence and their attitude caused a hubbub in their town which leads authorities to jail them for disturbing the peace then the people accuse him that you have disturbed the 
peace of the city you have disturbed the trade of the city now you have to face the charges charge uh, charge of disturbing trade and creating distension and treating with the contempt the customs and laws laid down for the town by its parents old bilzebub himself actually bilzebub is the a uh, king and the owner and the leader of the city who say uh, the people complain him to that these are the two people faithful and the christian they have disturbed this uh, peace of the city they have disturbed and they have violated the customs laws they should be charged the faithful is convicted and the sentence to be executed so in the end what happened actually in the serenity uh, fair the belzebub sentenced to the death to faithful now the faithful is dead here is died because he was sentenced to death by the belzebub and the christian leave the vanity fair then he reached into the doubting castle and giant disappeared christian gets free and goes on his way but not alone for he has been joined by hopeful when the faithful is sentenced to death then the other pilgrims fellow men join him that was the hopeful a native of vanity fair who is feeling in search of better things he was a person from the vanity fair he is in the search of the gods grace sparkling streams and the river of the water of life which meanders through the beautiful meadow bright with flower so in the doubting case the the stream the flower the water of life we see everything that's very beautiful and then the and then he sleep there and he stayed there in the boat the faithful and the christian they uh, took uh, their race in the doubting castle next morning is they are wake up the surprise and size the prince by path made you a giant named disappear charging them with malicious trespassing he has them to his stronghold doubting castle and throws them into a deep dark dungeon where they lie for the days without food or drink so actually the disappear who is the giant disappear and is the owner of this giant doubting castle he says that you, why you are enter in this castle without my per- permission why you drink water from this so he just captured them and throw them in a deep dark dungeon without food and water faithful and uh, sorry hopeful and the christian they both are into the dungeon of the giant disappear they locked into the doubting castle finding that this magic key works the prisoner are soon out in the open and running as fast as they can get back into the holy way actually in the end the christian realized that he has the keys in his in it so he open and he pick up this key and open the lock of Uh, the doubting castle and the uh, run away from the doubting castle the ease of the path made you then they follow this made you path in the river water of life then they run away from the doubting castle from the dungeon of the giant disappear now they reach at the delectable mountain the uh, hopeful and the Christian they reach in the delectable mountain. In the delectable mountain, Christians and hopeful next come to the delectable mountain, where they find the gardener, our uh, gardens, orchards, vineyards, and fountains of the water. Means these all beautiful things they have found here into the dark delectable mountain. And then and then they also meet with the four shepherds. One is the experienced, knowledge, watchful, and sincere. came to greet them they greeted them into the delectable mountain and they received paper from shepherd instructing them on what to do and what to avoid on the journey ahead so these were the four shepherd they also gave him a paper and then they guide him that what kind of things you have to be avoid and what kind of should, should things you should follow on this holy journey then they getting these papers and then they move their journey then they move on their journey then they reach into the country of bula the country country of bula this is a happy land where the sun shines day and night flowers bloom continuously and the sweet and the pleasant air is filled with the bird songs so this is a very beautiful city look like a heaven there the sun shine there the daylight there is no lack of grain and wine each and everything is here in the plenty is still the christian and hopeful is stopped to rest and enjoy themselves here please that the celestial city is now within sight which leads them to assume that their way there is no clear so actually the country of bula 
uh, the, is a country in which the celestial city is located where heaven host live when they enter into the country of bula they can glance at the celestial city but to reach there they have to cross the dark river so in the end the last the problem that the last year hindrance they have faced the last challenge for that dark river so this is the final taste of their faith a voice to it flowing stream a shining one appears and tells them that they must make their way across the base as well they can in that floating the river is a taste of faith and and those with faith have nothing to fear so the shining ones appeared again in this story and they told the faithful hopeful and the Question that this is the final taste of your faith. If you cross this river, definitely the whole heavenly host will accept you in his company. Wading into the river, they jump into the river, hopeful, fine from floating, but Christian does not. So Christian is floating with water. He is soon floating in the water over his head, fearing that he will be drowned, that he will never see the land that flows with milk and honey. So actually, he has a doubt and fear. He is not from as water is flowing down. He said that he will. be drawn hopeful has christian by holding his head above the water and they to finally achieve the crossing so by time hopeful helps christian to hold his head and to just throw away from the water then they finally cross this dark river and successfully then they reach in their final destination that was the final destination of the celestial city and this is the one the far side of the river two shining ones are waiting for the pilgrims and take them by their arms to assist them in climbing the steep slope to the celestial city which is stand as a as a mighty hill higher than the clouds so on the higher level on to the uh, uh, about to sky the celestial city were located the shining one and just guide them they took them um, and they they company them and they showed them the path of the celestial city where the god actually lived christian and hopeful present their cardinals which are taken to the king god he ordered the gates to be opened then they two very but elite pilgrims to go in and find that the streets are paved with gold and that along them walk many men with crowns on their heads and golden harps in their heads so here he will see the different people who are living their peaceful life they are enjoying the company of heaven goes this is and there is no sorrow there is no pain there is no suffering each and everything is peaceful and each and everything li- living has very peacefully all the people are very happy they have the crowns of the gold on their heads so this is the last destination and the last uh, adventure of the part 1 so here the story of the part 1 and the journey start from the city of destruction to end in the celestial city and between whatever he faces and whatever he see these things are related and we have discussed in the detail so in the next lecture we will discuss the part 2 thank you so much and i will see you in the next lecture assalam alaikum to all of you and welcome